It's a first for us and for him today, Garth Brooks, appearing on every hour of The Today Show, even co-hosting the next hour with Hoda. <laughs> but for Garth, breaking new ground is old hat. Yes, he is the best-selling country artist of all time and has received every award the music world has to offer. More than 60, in fact, and after some time away to raise his girls, Garth is back with his first studio album in 13 years. Man Against Machines, straight to number one, has been there for six weeks, just went platinum, now on the road performing in front of sold-out crowds with his beautiful wife, Trisha Yearwood. Garth, good to see you. Thank good you. Good morning. Great to be seen. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so, it, it is. It, it is. is. It, it is. <laughs> Elvis Presley, The Beatles. Garth Brooks, biggest selling recording artist yeah, of which, all time. Which one of these three don't fit? How does that feel? That feels great. Uh, so you know, I'm never, never, I'm never going to confuse my name with those other two. But it's sweet to be mentioned in the same breath. I think it shows the size of the country music audience. I'll tell you that. Yeah. 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 I, you, you know, you took as, as Savannah mentioned earlier, 13 years off mm -hmm. to help raise your girls. You stayed home with them. And now you're back out on the road with your lovely wife, Miss Trisha Yearwood, who you Ms. call Yearwood, her. Yes. You still call her yes. Miss Yearwood. Yes, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, a gentleman. that's how you knew her forever. Uh -huh. And then so when we got married, it was kind of hard to break it. But she keeps going, Trisha, please, Trisha. <laughs> I know you, man. I'm your wife. <laughs> I love that. I can get my husband into that habit, Miss Morale. <laughs> there you have it. Are you, in other words, not yeah. calling you princess anymore? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. So, Garth. Um, Al was talking earlier about being the dad who drops off the kids. He yes. says he doesn't stop. They drop and roll out oh, of the car. Good, yeah. <laughs> I'm so much quicker now. <laughs> Your youngest is now in college. What were those years, though, like being able to have that luxury of being home with them? The greatest thing uh, on the planet. And, and the, I guess the whole thing of just watching my mom and dad, because my mom and dad kept saying it's over like that. And you think nothing can be over like that. And it's over like that. So just enjoy every minute. Enjoy every heartache because you're going to have a, a lot yeah. of them. But enjoy those. Because yeah. i got to tell you, heartaches with them are a lot better than, than nothing without them. So yeah. it's a... Uh, Greatest gift I've ever been given is being a dad. Wow. It's awesome. wow. With so I, many, I, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, with so many amazing songs, and speaking of being dad, we just saw you performing Mom, and you brought everyone to tears. Ah. What is it like for you to, to know that effect that you have on people? And do you have a favorite of your own songs? I think it's, it's uh, I think you take Garth Brooks out of it. I think you take the music. Yeah. I think that's it. And, and for me, my favorite Garth thing, I didn't write like Mom, I didn't write, but it's the dance. Way back off yeah. the very first album, 100 years ago. But uh, for some reason, it is it has stood the test of time. Well, as you notice, uh, Tamara, you might have noticed, might have noticed that Tamara, Tamara Love uh, was the, She's going I'm to the so orange sorry. room for some questions. They told me to walk Meantime, over. You, okay. You're, you're yeah. performing, you're touring with Trish, Tr yeah. uh, Trish, Trisha Yearwood, your wife. What is that like? I mean, I, I mean, you, you profess, you had this first picture that you guys, when you first met it, 27, 27 years ago. Yeah, I keep it on my phone. We, we've been best buddies forever and just workmates. And then, uh, you know, as... As you start to, to get older and you start thinking about how you want to spend the rest of your life and just enjoy every second with her. So, uh, again, man, like I said, I don't care if it's touring, I don't care if it's going to the dentist. That woman makes things fun. You know? it's <laughs> Together good. nine years and wow. still that love. Tamara. Let's go over to okay, Tamara. I what was walking into the orange room, not away from the great Garth Brooks, but here's a question, Garth, we have from some fans. Take a listen. Song is Friends in Little Places. What's your kid's favorite song of yours? What's your kid's favorite song of yours? Well, first of all, I yeah. feel bad that a child that young, Friends in Low Places, is their favorite song. <laughs> Especially for the lyric in well, that. Maybe he's just uh, talking about his height. Yeah. He's in low places. So, um, I, I think the dance is still yeah. mine. Uh, yeah. It just, it just. But I got to tell you, the greatest song to play live when you see Colin Baton Rouge coming up on the thing, mm. and you know those people are going to go to another level. That's, Aww. that's what it's all about. Man. And you're going to Oklahoma soon, back home to yes. perform there. So Tulsa's next. It's right? very sweet. Yeah, I, I think you want to mean the most to the people that you were raised around yeah. because they're the ones that kind of see you as just an everyday guy. Right. Yeah. So for them to treat you like you're something special is a sweet, sweet gift and they are giving me that gift right now. They're renaming all the street signs. I've seen cool. Thunder Roll street signs and everything oh, downtown. Wow. It's very sweet of them to Well do deserved. Yeah, you deserve you. it, my friend. Of course, friend. again, the album Man Against Machine, number one. Now to our special guest all morning long, Mr. Garth Brooks, the biggest name and success story in country music history. Take a look. Garth Brooks is the top-selling country artist of all time. He has sold over 134 million albums and has received every accolade and award the music world has to give. But in 2001, at the age of 38, he retired and moved to Oklahoma to become a full-time dad to his three daughters. Now, with his youngest off to college, Brooks is back to work. 
He just released his first studio album in 13 years, Man Against Machine. It immediately went to number one and has remained there for six weeks. His current world tour with his superstar wife, Trisha Yearwood, is breaking records, selling over one and a half million tickets in just four months. Even his friends in low places would agree this country sensation is back better than ever. <laughs> I just love that. I, That's a, it's, it's, it's awesome. I haven't worked since I was 19. That's fantastic. <laughs> Garth, it is amazing. You've been kind of out of the game since 2001. You come back. Your record is now selling a million copies, certified platinum. Not too shabby a way to come back. It's very sweet. Uh, the greatest gift I've ever received was a time off to raise our kids. Yeah. But i got to tell you, very second, the greatest next gift I received was a chance to do it all again. We're having a great time. You know, I was just thinking about what you did. I mean, here you were in 2001. You're at the height of your popularity. You're the biggest country music star in the world. And you say, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to pause. I'm going to take these ears off and be with my children. I mean, take us through that decision-making process. Was it a hard decision to make? Uh, it wasn't a hard decision to make one of the things the, the key things uh, in, in that time I kind of took it all on at once I lost my mom which is the biggest fan sweet 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 woman and, and that was your confidence mm -hmm. to going through a divorce Sandy and I decided that it was it was time for us to to end it and I couldn't depend on her or her to carry my weight anymore mm -hmm. so we moved back to Oklahoma to raise our kids and I got to tell you I'd, I never wish divorce on anybody but for this occasion, when Miss Shearwood went into the picture, we had three kids, three parents, and it was pretty cool. So nobody ever got left out. And, uh, and then here comes smartphones, which were great, because then you could be watching one of your child do things while you're watching another child and do the same thing for the other parents. So it was cool. It's pretty amazing. So should we look back and think about this time with Garth Brooks at home, like where you go to PTA meetings and stuff like that? Yeah, you I mean you go to booster club <laughs> meetings or, or whatever. You're, you're a soccer mom. That's what you're doing. And i got to tell you, it's the greatest time of my life. No offense to music whatsoever, but the greatest gig on the planet is being a dad. Yeah, it is. But are you still doing that crowd surfing stuff out on the concert? <laughs> Not at this weight. I'll have yeah. to lose wait for that. But yes. Garth, it is great to have you here this Thank morning. You. Thank you so much. We'll hear you sing a little bit. Okay, I look forward to it. I'm back now with country music legend Garth Brooks. He is with us all morning on the show, and right now he's made his way to the orange room with Carson. Morning, guys. It's been really hey. cool, man. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. Just to get the oh, time sweet. here, man, just to sit and talk to you about your tour and all the good work you're doing out there. We're Very so sweet, man. Having fun. We have, it's a great uh, also to have you here today. Are you really in for the whole enchilada? As you yes, say, I four am. Hours. Yes. We got Garth Brooks here. Keep those questions coming to the orange room. Hashtag uh, orange room. And this room really was built for this moment here because we want to get right to your fans and sort of direct relationship. So, Garth, if you would, press any one of those, you'll get a question directly oh, to you. Oh, Cool. All right. Let's take this guy. Hey, Garth. I'm Clayton from Kentucky. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Just want to know if you're ever going to do an acoustic album. Oh, very cool. If, if I could play acoustic where the damn I would, you know. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you learn yeah. first but, uh, acoustic? Well, I use it to hide my gut. That's the main reason why I have a guitar. So, But uh, I, I love acoustic stuff, that whole thing out with wind. The four years spent out there just doing an acoustic show, that, yeah. that was a blast. All right, Enjoy cool. it. Let's do one more if you... Uh, oh, I, can I, I got three daughters. Can I pick the three yeah, girls? Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, What's <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see you in Pittsburgh. Oh, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, that was so impressive, sweet. Too. Yeah, it was. I look forward to seeing them in Pittsburgh. It'll be fun. Uh, How about album? Do you anything you can uh, go back to? We can, we can go through a thousand of them. Jane Taylor's New Moon Shine. Yeah. George Strait Straight Country just was fantastic. I think I've worn that thing out. I bought it in eight track a set album. <laughs> and through all the generations. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Incarnations all of, of listening yeah. to music. Exactly. Well, good, man. We're so excited to have Thank you here today, you. Appreciate brother. what you said. Thank, yep. Thanks for taking those questions. This is cool. Too. Yeah, it's cool. All right, guys, let's send it back over to you. we got Garth Brooks in the house all morning long. Wait, can we do it all four together? I was going to say yeah. thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Call me Kathy Lee. I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay, Thursday, Thursday, January 8th, Garth Brooks, the legend, is sitting here in Kathy Lee's chair. Bam! Okay, our staff is dressed up like they've never been dressed up before. I want to point that out. I don't know if you can see Amanda and Joanne all dressed up over there, but they are. Um, we've got a bunch of women in the audience who never come to watch our show. Very and sweet. on this side, we've got camera crews from I don't know where. I think Access Hollywood, Extra. Anyway, the gang's all here. 
You're a pretty big deal. This is this is nice. How are you? I am better than I deserve. You it's are, fantastic. Are you so happy? You are back at it. You're back on tour. You and I heard a, a number that was surprising. I didn't realize this, but of the three top selling artists ever, according to RIAA, it's Elvis, it's the Beatles, and it's Garth Brooks. Isn't that crazy? Is that crazy? I, I got to think it's just got to be a reflection of how large the country music audience is out there. They they take great care of me. Man. That's amazing. Do you know? I'm sitting here and I'm remembering at one point your wife was sitting here co-hosting with me, Trisha Yearwood. Yes. yes. And her drink of choice was an interesting one. Right. What is your wife's drink of choice? <laughs> My wife's drink of choice would be rumple mints. I think if it it just depends if it's going to be a night full of impersonations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And if we're if we're gonna get to that level quickly, yes. Rumple Mints will what's be. What's Rumple Mints? What it's is that? um it's like a high octane. I don't even know what's all in it, but yeah. I can tell you it's uh it's not a friend of my wife, but she's she's fantastic. <laughs> she's a trip, by the way. She How is. Have you guys been married? Twenty four seven. She's uh we've been we just celebrated nine years. Yeah. Uh, I carry a picture around with me. We uh, met in eighty seven. I got a picture the other day we met. You're kidding. And, uh, just, uh, she's been a great friend, and um, you know, sometimes you're lucky and you get to marry your best friend, so it's good. Wow. And you guys, you guys go on tour, and you, you start off the tour, then she comes in the middle, and then you button it up? Is yeah, we just kind of do it together and uh, just go out and, and, and hit it. And, and i got to tell you, it's, it's pretty cool because when, when you're doing your thing, yeah. you look out and people are like, oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. And then when she walks on stage, everybody does the, oh. <laughs> Here comes the whole band just kind of stands up a little straighter and everybody gets a little and she comes out and just belts it out and it's just cool. When you're in concert and just like when you're here, by the way, I should point this out, you look everyone in the eye. You you are not only people ask you a million questions, but right. one thing I notice is you turn to everybody and say, Well, how many kids do you have? You have a connect when you're when you're performing, and it, it looks to me like you're making eye contact all the way around. What what's happening up on the stage? With First the of all, I just love people. I have the most faith in us. I think we're going to end up. We're going to make it. You know, as a huh. people, as a race. Uh, but uh, when I was a kid, Freddie Mercury was my guy. Freddie yeah. Mercury and Queen, and Tammy Sherman, my high school sweetheart, <laughs> surprised me with tickets to go see Queen. Uh huh. And the whole time I was in that concert, all I wanted was him to look at me for three seconds so I could go thank you. You know, just thank you. Yeah. The, you're kind of like the background music of my life. <laughs> then I go to George Strait. I want to do the same thing there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you realize you're on the stage, you're looking out there for that reason. But the weird thing is now you're looking out to make that eye contact to go, thank you. Thank you for my life. Uh, thank you for getting to do this because uh, this is a cool way to uh, spend your days. Wow. I don't know why I'm getting misty, but I just am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I must be hormonal, seriously. I just start weeping if you're telling that story. Okay, so it is cold out. We just want to switch gears a little it's bit. It's freezing. They took down our tree. Did you get to see the Rockefeller tree? I did you get saw to see it. the tree. Okay, so it's down. Um, uh, the queen lit it. She was there the night they, they, they lit it up. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, so the tree is gone, and it was so cold out. I think it was minus... What was it? Eight or nine? Who knows? Minus right. eight? It was freezing. Um, so we want to do a little test to find out how cold it was. So we put... Um, a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, and a, and a bottle of water outside in the freezing cold, and we wanted to do a taste test. What, I mean, a test. What did you find? It froze. So the bottle of water. Okay. Kind of glacier on top. Okay. Hot cup of coffee, rock solid. Frozen? Really? In the wine. Oh, my God. Look at that. Just the perfect amount of ice crystals. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Cheers. Are you old enough to drink? Absolutely. Oh, I'm a little Absolutely. concerned about our drinking issue. Absolutely. All right, it's better chill. Cheers. All right. <laughs> thanks, Alex. Thanks so much. Well, you now, must drink after a toast. Oh, you're right. Bad okay, well then. Well, get, you did you a toast. You're one. You're one okay, ahead. There right. you go. Bigger drink than that. Okay. <laughs> Here's to um, health and love. Fair health enough? and love. Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so Elvis would have been 80 years old. Were you an Elvis fan? Um, my wife, yes. the biggest Elvis fan is she really? on the planet. Yes. Who, what's, what's her song? What does she like? Oh, she likes them all. I mean, yeah. she's got every one. She still has the LPs, uh -huh. loves them. And uh, I'm lucky enough that the guy that plays piano on the records, he played the dance. He plays yeah. all these things that, that Miss Maggie would know that uh, uh -huh. done. He was Elvis's oh, you're piano kidding. player as well. So it's neat to get in that bridge, but he'll bring pictures in, just casual pictures they shot in the studio. Yeah. This guy was beautiful. Amazing. I mean, just perfect. He might be the perfect human being, just the way he looked and everything. 
And this, of course, as big as he is, he is 80 day. Not that he would be. Yeah. He is. He's still alive. He's the king. You know He's what? Always he is. The king. Well, we wondered what he would look like today. And they uh -oh. have all these weird kind of computer things right. that they can do. So this is what the, this is what they said the king would look like today, given everything that was going on. So that's that's according to some software group called Sax Media. Anyway, that's hmm. him. Have you did you, what do you? <laughs> Would you, what, what? I think the king's the king. Yeah. I, I, I do. <laughs> right. We like to remember the it the way I we think know. He, I think he'd look uh, a lot more beautiful than that, and yeah. uh, I think time would be his friend. He's yeah. just, he was one of those cool guys. And by the way, his favorite foods here are one of them. This is peanut butter and banana grilled up like a grilled cheese sandwich. Really? You want to try? Oh, little I bite? must. Okay, here. Here. I'm going to rip off that. Okay. Spread it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I feel like we're on a date. <laughs> well, because he yeah. put my... You're going to hate later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my gosh. All right. Speaking of, of, of dating, this is an interesting thing, because you talked about how you and Trisha were really great, great, great friends. Mm -hmm. And there's this new uh, study that came out that talked about how people who ended up dating their best friends, what happened in those situations? Because that can Fair either enough. turn really 50, great 50, like sure. yours did, or it can turn out not so great. Right. So do you, I mean, obviously you think dating a good friend is a great way to start. It gives you a foundation. I got to tell you, if you're going to spend the rest of your life with somebody, make sure it's your good friend. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's a great place to start. A lot of people won't take it past there, which I totally respect. Right. It's You're a scary afraid to leap. lose the friendship, right? Scary leap. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's uh, thank God, and you know, and you know, I, I introduce her as the love of my life. She introduces me as her current husband. <laughs> but I, I do. Uh, I, this is the first time in my life where forever is not long enough. So it's uh, I, I can't spend enough time with her. She's super sweet. Oh my gosh! Inside now, forever is not sweet. long enough. Is that what you said? Oh wow! <laughs> so, that is. It doesn't make you like not like your husband right now. <laughs> or boyfriend. That's the way it works out. Well, in, they said in a third of the cases it ends up working as well as your guys' uh, did. Huh? But I think women sometimes are afraid of uh, of again ruining the friendship. I love how you call. By the way, you call her your wife here. But I was listening to a bunch of interviews you did, and you always call her Miss Yearwood. So I knew her forever. Uh huh. Because you know. It, she was married to somebody, I was married to someone else, and we were in the same business, and we worked mm -hmm. together. Her first tour was our tour, 91. Wow. And the first time we ever had an opening act on tour, that was that tour. Wow. So uh, we've been together in this business long before we ever got record deals or anything I love like that, that picture. Is she neat? Is she neat and clean? Neat and clean? Oh, yeah. She cleanest, is? Cleanest person you'll ever she be around. She is? Yep. Oh, I thought she was going to be like me. Real quick, because, I, <laughs> because um, we did this thing where we had to make over our closets. Mm -hmm. and. Um, oh, you mean that way? That way. Ooh. She's not great? Okay, wait. Let's show my closet real quick, because this is what mine there looked like before. Is that anything like hers? Well, I can see your floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see? Well, uh I got a closet makeover where we threw out, I don't know, 70% of this, or not threw it away, donated it. Very and a bunch good. of people just showed their, uh, their messy closets just so I wouldn't feel so bad. Anyway, I just wondered about Trisha because she seems like yeah. she is that bad. Well, congratulations. A little earlier, you got this plaque. They unveiled yes. this thing. Your album is platinum. How does, I mean, that's happened to you, obviously, before many times. How does it feel now, 13 years well, later? It feels better than anyone you've ever gotten because... <laughs> Uh, you know, when you, when you receive these kind of things, it's they're for young people. They just yeah. are. They're for young artists. And to have a tour be accepted like this is humbling. Uh -huh. And uh, to now have the, your first new music out, because all you want is the music to relate. Yeah. And hopefully this is saying it is. Was it a little weird coming back? Because I was wondering, if you stop, if, or if you, you're away from something for so many years, did you wonder, like, are they going to still like me? Are and they going to still want me? Scared to death. Yeah. But you have to mention the tour at some point, and then hopefully people show up they do. <laughs> And if that happens, then music is the next thing. And then the last step now is the business, the industry mm -hmm. itself. Award shows, stuff like that. Well, they let you be a current artist again. And, yeah. you know, the verdict's still out, so we'll see. But having a great time and, and out there with the people, I, I don't know how I could ask for any more than this. So you took that time off to be with your kids. Yes. What was Garth the dad like? What was that like during those years? Well, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's cool because I will tell you, I was lucky enough to be at every practice, every rehearsal, every school function. Uh -huh. My kids will go, oh, my God, he was at every <laughs> practice. You know, all that stuff. So uh -huh. they, I think the way they see it and the way I see it is probably different. Uh -huh. But I'm hoping after I'm gone, 
you know, from this world. Mm -hmm. Hopefully then they'll go, oh, I'll get it. Okay, my dad was at everything, and hopefully that's what I'll be. Because that's what I did with my parents. My parents was at everything. They were? I did, you bet you. Yeah. Did you miss music a lot during those years, or were you constantly playing and doing little things, writing, doing things here and there? You're still doing your thing. I yeah. mean, you, uh, you know, the, the charity functions, foundation functions yeah. never stop. So you still show up once or twice a year and, and get to play. Mm -hmm. That was great. But I got to tell you, no offense to music whatsoever, yeah. nothing can compare to being a dad. So it was like leaving Maui to go to Honolulu. Wow. I mean, I, I don't know how to say it. It was just, <laughs> it was like, I, I'd love to play music, but right now I got to yeah. tell you, there's nothing better than this. And those are days you can't get back. Right. There's a song on your current record that you played in the earlier yes. hours uh, about, it's about moms. And I have to tell you, it's so moving. I, I listened to it a couple of times, and every time you, I get misty eyed, you must have had such an incredible connection with your mom. Tell, tell me a little bit about where that, how that song feels your to you. Your mom's your best friend. Your mom's your biggest fan. I can't tell you how many times I have sucked, fallen flat on my face, and look, and my mom goes, I thought you were great. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. So that's wonderful to have yeah. there. Uh, mom and dad were a great balance. Mom believed you could fly. Dad believed if you were going to fly, it was going to take a hell of a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. So it was a real good realism and a real dreamy kind of upbringing. All us kids had that input, which was very sweet. Do you think about her when you sing that song? Is that what comes to you? I think about her and my dad a lot when I raise my own kids. Every yeah. time I talk to my own kids. I was talking to a friend of mine in the business two nights ago. Yeah. And uh, I said, I hate to sound like my dad because I knew it was coming. Yeah. And Little here came. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right. Also, uh, earlier in the piece, you and JT, Justin Timberlake, we're rocking that song, Friends in Low Places. It seems like that song has hit so many people. That looked magical, the two of you. What was going on there on the stage? First of all, him and anybody's magical. Yeah. That kid's yeah. so talented, but he was so great. Yeah. You go to one of his shows, and you're having a great time, and can't think it gets any better. Yeah. And then the whole stage splits and comes over your head. Oh, my God. And you're going, are you kidding me? And it goes to a whole different level. His crowd, his show, his musicians, his band wow. guys crew, all of them top notch. Somehow with everything you're doing, with your family and everything, you manage to get charity work into. That's important to you, huh? Well, foundation is what it's all about. Yeah. Kids, that, that's, that's where I love it. So you talk about the zones, you talk about teammates for kids. This is our 15th year, and just I love it. We deal in uh, inner city outreach, education, and health for children and you know, every charity out there is worthy. Every one of them is. I, I'm just a kid charity. Yeah. I love kids. Well, when I first got here this morning, one of our security guards, John, came up to me and he said, I met the, he said, the nicest guy arrived this morning. And he's met every single celebrity who's come through. And he said, you, he said, the way really? he speaks to all of us. And you do that 